history was made today with the news that Christian Pulisic has become the most expensive American soccer player of all time, signing for Chelsea for $73 million. He will join the West London club in the summer. Pulisic grew up in Hershey, Pennsylvania, but left for Germany and Borussia Dortmund at the age of 16. He's played in the Bundesliga 81 times, the Champions League 20 times, and for the US men's national team 23 times the rising star of American soccer. He said today, quote, it's a privilege to have signed for such a legendary club. Our Premier League insider Neil Ashton joins us now from the BBC studios in Manchester for more on this. Neil, good afternoon, lovely to see you. So can you give us some more details, the backstory to this massive move? Yeah, it is a big day, of course, Rebecca. And I think that Chelsea, they're feeling very, very pleased with themselves, very satisfied this afternoon that everyone doubted their intentions. Are they still a big club? Do they still have ambitions to win the top trophies, to be able to persuade the best young talent in world football to join them? Well, this is a statement of intent. This is, yes, they are. They like everything about this player. It's someone that they've been looking at for a long, long time. Since his move to Dortmund back in 2016, Rebecca, they've been following and monitoring his progress over a steady period of time and what they see is a player who's, who's flamboyant he's got flair he can score goals and this is one they're very much looking forward to the future because as we know He'll stay with Borussia Dortmund until the end of the season. Chelsea like that. They don't believe he's ready to make this move to England to play in the Premier League just yet. They like the fact, this maturity that he's shown he wants to stay with Borussia Dortmund. He's lost his place recently, of course. Everybody raving about the development of Jadon Sancho, a young English footballer who's playing so well this season for Dortmund. But they, they like the idea that he wants to stay and fight for his first team place, go on to win perhaps the Bundesliga title. And, of course, they're doing well in Europe as well. That's what Chelsea like about him. The first time we like likely to see or the chance of seeing him in a Chelsea shirt. I don't think it's in August when they play it when they restart the Premier League for the 1920 season. I think it's at the end of this season, Rebecca, because Chelsea, they've got a game, uh, a friendly, a prestige friendly at the end of this season when they'll go on tour. They'll be stateside. They'll play New England Revolution. And I think there's a chance that Pulisic will play in that game. If his commitments with Borussia Dortmund, it depends, of course, on the Bundesliga and, of course, their you know, European commitments and Chelsea's European commitments as well. But at this moment in time, that game penciled in for the end of May, and that's when Chelsea will head there at the end of the season. You may see him in a Chelsea shirt. If not, then they play their pre-season. They go to Southeast Asia. They've got a game in Japan. That's the start of their pre-season tour. They'll probably go on to Australia um, off the back of that tour, on the back of that game as well. That's when we'll see Pulisic playing his first games for Chelsea, getting, some, getting into the first-team squad, finding his way, finding his feet under Maurizio Sarri, the Chelsea coach. That's when we'll start to see the Pulisic that they've signed. Everything you've heard about the transfer fee today, absolutely spot on, $78 million, huge amount of money. Borussia Dortmund had to announce that to the Stock Exchange this morning. That's what they did. He is a Chelsea player, but he'll remain with Dortmund until the end of the season. But they are very, very pleased with this signer, Rebecca. They believe that Manchester United also wanted him. They've stolen a march on anyone else in world football who wanted to sign this player. They've got their man today. Fascinating stuff. Neil, we'll speak to you a little bit later on. I know you're in Manchester ahead of the Manchester City Liverpool game, so more from Neil Ashton <coughs> a little bit later on. Robbie Musto, Carl Martino here in the studio this afternoon. As a former US men's national team player, of course, as well, what's your, what was your reaction to the Pulisic news? The first one is it's great for American soccer. Um, you know, when you look at the long list of players from the US that have had success in Europe or currently having success in Europe, when you calculate the club, the size of the fee, the size of the expectations, the age of the player. This is the bigger, biggest player signing in American soccer history. And so you immediately start to think about the moment for this young player who's incredibly talented. And, you know, I'll look at all the players that have been through Europe, even going back to, you know, the John O'Briens that, by the way, for Ajax, uh, he was playing at the San Siro in a Champions League uh, game against Milan or... Claudio Reyna and Demarcus Beasley played in an old firm with Rangers and then with Manchester City, or all the American Fulham players that had success there. Obviously, we know goalkeepers have had success at big clubs, but I'd say Clint Dempsey is probably the closest to a player being at a big club in one of the biggest leagues in the world and having expectations. So it's an exciting moment for, for Christian Pulisic. He, he deserves it. Uh, I just look at, if you're going to give it context internationally, the, the signing I'd compare it to is when Martial went to uh, Manchester United for $55 million with add-ons. But, I mean, it's even a little bit bigger than that when you look at the fee. And that, that fee says, obviously, they understand the market and they want Chelsea's brand to permeate, but they want him to play right away when he comes. It is a huge fee. 
how convinced are you that he has the quality to immediately make an impact in the Premier League? Really difficult. Really difficult to answer that question. Sorry, Becca. And uh, that, that's a tough part because we've seen so many players come into this Premier League. Some of them do great and can adapt to it. Some of them don't. It's really difficult. I think the thing that, that's different from, from the Bundesliga and from Dortmund is the physicality and the intensity of the Premier League. That's not just me saying it because I've played in it. That's what people say all the time of players that have gone in from, from leagues outside of England into it. So that's the tough part. He's quick, he's skillful, he's got a very good football brain, he's got a big heart. I, I definitely have noticed that when he's played for the national team. Uh, and he carries himself in a great way. But there's something about the Premier League that's really difficult. The amount of games, you know, the attention he's going to get. And he's at a football club that will... I don't think be particularly patient. This club has won championships uh, and, and it's, a, it's a tough place to go to in terms of, of, of satisfying that club. And, and the two challenging things for him is if Ed Nazard leaves in the summer, if this is kind of an insurance policy, no one can expect him to fill those shoes, enormous shoes to fill. And also what's challenging is he's been replaced recently by Sancho at, at, at Borussia Dortmund. And now that he's been sold, there, there's less incentive for Borussia Dortmund to play him week in and week out. But I, I know the player, I've talked to players that have played in the U.S. team with him. He'll succeed. Whether it's at Chelsea or not, I know he's, he's good enough to play at that level, and I think he's going to succeed there. Massive news for American soccer today and for much more on Christian Pulisic's big transfer to Chelsea. Head over to NBCSports.com slash soccer. Joe Prince-Wright offers up his thoughts on whether the move was the right one for the American and what it all means for the Blues. Hi, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings on NBCSN.